Hey, it's Boo Ray Perry from Tampa, Florida, and today on Boo Ray Explains, we're going to talk about noise or grain in your images and what does it mean and where does it come from? Now, if you started at the beginning with this series, you know that we're right at the point now where we're still talking about the exposure triangle. We're talking about ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. And we talked about what they do in terms of light in your camera and your exposure. And now we're talking about what they also do. What's the other effect? that they have. And this particular effect comes as a result of ISO. So let's just talk a little bit about how your chip works, how your sensor works in your camera. And we're going we're gonna to try not get too technical. So I'm sure there's an electrical engineer that's going to come and make a comment on this video and correct me on a few things. But listen, we don't need to really understand the depth of this. It's just a good idea to kind of understand how it works. And that's what I go for. Kind of understanding is right in my wheelhouse. So here's, here's what we're talking about. You have a sensor in your camera, right? This sensor has electricity. That electricity helps this sensor detect light when it comes into your camera. Light comes in as photons. So the photons come in, the sensor then detects these photons. And once it's detected the photons, think of it like a series of, of jars all over your sensor. And, and the photons come pouring in and the jars fill up with photons. And then electricity in your sensor allows it to detect how many photons there are in every single jar. And then it reproduces that onto a piece of paper or a digital file or whatever it is that you're doing to look at your image, right? That's what it is, like paint by numbers. It says, okay, there's like, you know, five photons here and seven photons here and eight photons here. And then it takes that and lines them all up as a series of dots and you've got a picture. That's that's a very, very simplistic way of describing how your sensor works. But the thing is, your sensor can't detect all the photons that hit it. It can't. There's a threshold. And the, you know this because you can be in a room that's dark, and you can look around and you can see things in the room. But no matter what you do with your camera, your camera can't see them. Why? Because your camera can't see every photon. I mean, we can't see every photon either, but the human eye can see fewer photons than a camera can. So how can we fix it so the camera can see more photons? Well, we can crank up the gain on the sensor. In other words, we can just turn up the volume. We can take it to 11, right? Give it more power. If the sensor has more power, more electricity, it will be able to detect more photons. So think of it as, let's say you've got these receptors, right? They, the photons pour in and, and then the, the sensor detects how many photons are there. And let's say, there has to be at least 30 photons before the sensor can even detect any at all. So if you have fewer than 30 photons in that sensor, as far as your sensor is concerned, that's black. It doesn't see any of them. You have to have more than 30 before it sees any light, before it sees anything. Now, if you crank up the gain, and you turn up the electricity, now maybe that number drops to 20. Maybe it can detect everything over 20. And if you crank it up some more, maybe it can detect everything over 10. And cranking up the gain, how do you do that? You raise the ISO. That's what you're doing. Every time you take the ISO number higher, you are turning up the amplifier to 11, you're pumping more electricity into your sensor, and as a result, it is able to detect a fewer and fewer amount of photons, which then it can reproduce and you can actually see some things in the dark room in your picture. So where's the noise come from? Where's the grain come from? Well, this comes from something called a signal to noise ratio. And it doesn't just work in photography, it works everywhere. It works in all electronics because electricity is a tricky thing. Oh, it does a lot of good, but also it can cause a lot of problems, especially when you're talking about things like photography or music or audio. Signal to noise ratio becomes a very big factor. Because the more you crank up the gain, the more you pump electricity into your system, the more electrons are flying everywhere, right? More and more electrons are flying everywhere. And some of these electrons are going to get in the way. Some of them are going to get into your system. And your system is going to have a hard time distinguishing between the electrons and the photons. Again, 
I know right now there's a physicist out there who is rolling their eyes because of this simplistic explanation. <laughs> but, but this is what I got for you. As you crank up the electricity, your signal to noise ratio increases. Your signal is what you want, the photons, your signal, that's what you want to see. But the noise, all the extra photon, all the extra, I'm sorry, all the extra electrons, all that electricity being pumped into the system, all this stuff, it all gets in the way. Now you got a problem because you, you, your sensor is seeing photons, but it's also seeing all these electrons and, uh, and what do you get? You get noise. You get grain in your picture. And this is why when you crank the ISO higher and higher and higher on your camera, you'll start to see that your pictures look more gritty. It's because of the signal to noise ratio and the signal to noise ratio is increasing because you are increasing your ISO which is dumping more and more power and electricity into your sensor, increasing the signal to noise ratio, causing noise or grain. Make sense? I hope so. I know I don't have fancy graphics and designs when I make these videos because to be honest, there's tons of great videos out there and websites that will explain all of this with fancy 3D graphics and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna try and beat those guys. But I also know that there are some people who simply learn better by having something explained to them than they do by seeing a graph or a chart. And so that's what I kind of try to do on these videos. There's going to be a lot more videos that are more tricky than this coming down the pipe. Hey, listen, be sure and throw me a subscription and a like if you like my video and check out uh, below in the description. I'll have links to my gear and you can see all my gear and, and help me to keep this channel going. And stay tuned because there's a lot more to come.